Hello there, welcome to Hoy's Garage. Now what is this thing? The world's slowest Tesla maybe? Well, in a way, but um, this is a Tesla converted into a youth car. And it's not just a converted car that's been made by a private owner. This is something that you can buy from Tesla right now. Um, of course the car has to have a, well, let's say like this. There's a whole bunch of rules to be able to get a car into a youth car in Sweden. Um, you will have to follow a whole number of rules but the rules aren't all that difficult to follow um, you have to have a tow bar that and a car that can use the tow bar for towing more than a ton which makes uh, the model 3 a bit problematic but this model y is perfect for this uh, as you can see one doesn't have to have a a uh, license plate at the rear but you have to have a warning sign saying that it's a slow car that you're approaching the car also have to have at least 60% of its weight on the driving wheels. But since it's a four wheel drive, then no problem. And I think that over, if the car weighs more than two tons, then it doesn't matter anymore because then you still have enough pressure on the ground. Uh, this is a bit of a weird setup of rules, uh, but that's the way it is in Sweden and Finland, as far as I know. Now, there are more things to it. You're not allowed to be able to take passengers in the car other than or more than one. So the front drivers, no, the front passenger seat is still okay to have as it is. But the rear doors, you can't open them. If you just push here, nothing happens. And you know, Tesla and software, that's what, the, 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 what they know. So they have with software blocked the rear doors, the trunk lid. And as we get into the car, we will also see, or you will also see, that uh, there is no um, no blockage over the rear seat, and uh, we'll see how they have figured that out. Let's go for a drive. So, will be interesting to take this factory-built Tesla Model Y, a tractor converted for a little spin. Let's see. It runs. Good. So, more about the rules. The uh, yeah, you're just allowed to have one passenger in this, following these a tractor rules. And if you then do this uh, as a after as a private conversion of a car, then you have to block things out here. So you can't have a person in sitting in the rear seat. And again, yeah, the rear doors has to be disconnected, and you know. Um, but here, Tesla also have an interesting opportunity to use software. There is that little, uh, what is it called? It's a little camera sitting there over the mirror. It's a um, occupant monitoring sensor, they call it. And then I will see what happens now. If I take a bag that I brought just to check, will it detect this or not? There's a bump. Okay, now let's see. Please remove the item from the rear seat. If not, the vehicle will start to slow down within 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. <laughs> so, somehow the car detected that I threw something back there and then, then I'll take it away. Let's see what happens. All right, good to go. Now, again, 30 kilometers per hour. That's kind of ridiculously slow in a way. Let's see here. Yeah, that's where we end up. Oh, 32. Ah, yeah, I've read the rules. Maybe Tesla have also. There's a little bit of flexibility. You Nominally, the car just have to make, or it has to make 30 km per hour. But the, uh, the uh, inspector that checks the car will allow for plus minus 10%. So there's a little bit of, of margin for that. Now let's turn around because I'm not going to drive far with this thing. Let's see here. Then of course the very obvious question is what's the price of this thing? Or what's the price of the conversion? Um, to... well 
I just studied the website of, of Tesla and it says 19,900 Swedish crowns, that's about 2,000 euros, which is, um, well, well, that's kind of what it costs if you take another, if you take an old car and hands it over to a mechanic that has to do the work, then um, then that's kind of a typical sum. So I think Tesla have just benchmarked and, and thought that, okay, we'll, we'll make a little bit of money just to keep the market in Scandinavia happy. Um, and well, yeah, of course, if there's a family with a teenager, yeah, you have to be 15 years old and you have to have a special moped license to, to be able to drive this car or to be allowed to drive this car. Now, so if, I mean, if there's a family where money isn't an issue, then sure, why not? I think this is something really cool and you know, uh, I haven't seen a kind of 70 or 75,000 euro a tractor so far in up in, in Sweden here, except this one then of course, but uh, uh, I've seen uh, I have seen Porsche Cayennes and I've seen Range Rovers and so on, so some are for sure spending quite a bit of money on these things and the day when you uh, have a teenager that is 18 and can drive a normal car then uh, well uh, Tesla says that for 500 euro they can convert the car back to a normal car again. One could think that of course you can just have different keys or different profiles or something but that's that's not really allowed up here, up here in Sweden. The car has to be registered as a car, you can't just swap it around and, and, and so. So, interesting uh, piece of car, right? Yeah, a tractor, the most expensive <laughs> a tractor around and the most slowest slowest Tesla in the world. That's all from Hoist Garage today. Take care. Bye-bye.